So we're just so pleased and happy for Andy and Mary, and just pray many years of blessings on you and, awesome. and God's riches for you. Amen. Thank you. Well, I want to start out by saying, Mary, you're not the first woman that he's married. <laughs> Andy and I have been married about ten times now. More than that. Maybe more. I don't know. Andy was and still is one of my best, best friends. Um, we were closest in age um, in the family, and uh, he and I. Uh, <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Sound <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful to have you in my life, both of you. Love you. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Amen. Come on up, Katie. Katie would like to share. Well, I've known Mary for a few years. Um, she's actually the one that she had a cleaning business and sold it to me and my friend, and she trained us. And so we spent, I don't know, maybe two months of her training us um, almost every day. And we heard quite a bit of funny stories from Mary. She always had um, hilarious things to say and um, really funny things that she'd just do and she did talk about her future husband a lot. <laughs> so Andy, she's been dreaming about you for a long time. <laughs> um, one story I remember with her, um, when we were camping once, someone started the game of Chubby Bunny. Um, I don't know if you guys all know what that game is. You stuff as many marshmallows in your mouth as you can and say, chubby bunny. Well, she was having a race with my husband, Kevin, and um, she ended up beating him. <laughs> so, Andy, you don't want to play chubby bunny. But... <laughs> so, congratulations. We're really happy for you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Because he made all my dreams come true When God made you He must have been thinking about me
My wife, not my girlfriend, not my fiance. <laughs> yeah. I think I know what that means. I um uh, I'm gonna need her holding my hand and squeezing it extra tight because I'm gonna I'm gonna have a tendency to choke up. Um this is amazing. This is amazing. Everybody being here traveling hundreds of miles some of you guys some of you guys have flown across the ocean to be here <laughs> for us <laughs> wow thank you thank you so much i uh now i'm really gonna cry seeing my mom's sisters <laughs> i love you um this day's obviously been a long time coming <laughs> um i've um had a lot of ups and downs in life. I've, I had a lot of things. That, that story that my dad shared, we all got a good chuckle out of it, but the truth is, <laughs> there's a lot more stories like that that were funny. Um, I had some issues in my life growing up, and um, I just thank God that in, his, that in His awesome ways, He brought me back. And then he put a godly woman by my side. I prayed one day. I said, God, there's six things I need from you. I need six. I need way more than six, but I was just kind of going low. As far as a woman, I needed six things at least that I could think off the bat. And the first thing was, I need a woman who's going to love you way more than she will ever love me. I need a woman who's going to love you more. I said, I need a woman who is close to my age, please. I'm already 30, so I'm not trying to raise anyone, or I'm not trying to be raised. <laughs> but the devil had told me that all the good ones were taken. And this is for you, devil, because look it. <laughs> no way. Preferably, Lord, if it's your will, please, maybe no kids and, you know, no previous marriages, if possible. If so, I, I trust you, and if you tell me, I'll go down that road, but just if I could have my way. There's a couple other things, and one was, can she be beautiful? <laughs> Lord, I, I, you know, I want somebody who's, who's beautiful as well. I understand that's important. She went above and beyond my expectations. I don't deserve you. <laughs>